This jack is lifting the whole cabin. Ah, things are cracking. Freeze up is just weeks away in Northern Canada and I'm pushing to get as much done as I can at the cabin before it's covered in ice and snow. I'm burning, pumping, splitting and cutting. The clock is ticking and I'm getting her done. There's just so much work that needs to be done to this property. And anytime I have a moment to clean stuff up, clean as much as I can, to beautify it as much as I can, I'm doing it. So this evening, I'm gonna have a nice fire. I'm gonna be burning wood that's mouse infested and scrap wood. And I'm gonna be burning loose bits of roots and trees on the property. The little trail to the outhouse is pretty gnarly and there is a, uh, there's this place in my town, they just give out a ton of pallets, just throw them away. So I think this winter I'm gonna bring up maybe a dozen pallets over the run of the winter and I'm gonna do a nice, I'm hoping to do a nice pallet walkway all the way to the outhouse. These are all the offcuts from uh, building this outhouse. Okay, if I can throw an off cut in here and it fits, I'm gonna stack it. All of this is really nice spruce, and I, if I can fit it in my wood stove, then I'm just gonna stack it here, and it'll just be a part of my winter supply of wood. This right here is my guide. Anything that's less than this will fit in the wood stove. That's what I'm gonna do. Works. works. Now, I don't want things that are, are pieces of wood that are too, too short um, because it just won't stack nicely. Um, I'll use the really short stuff for splits, so I just need to make a decision. Am I going to stack it or am I going to split it? And uh, something like this, it's almost a split in itself, but I'm going to stack it. These are all the off cuts just from all the work I did around here this summer. Look how rotten this is. Look at that. Just garbage. This one's the same. So, I'm gonna burn those. This right here, I think it might have been a header to go over top of a window in the construction of this place, but I don't know, maybe not. I think it's about, uh, 18 feet, maybe. It's a bunch put together. Very good wood. It was underneath the cabin. And I just laid, it's not light. I laid it here and left it here. And now I'm gonna take it and put it on the side of the cabin because there's lots of good use I can put this wood to. I don't know what at this point, but there's no way I'm, I'm getting rid of this. This is, this is gonna be valuable for sure.
if you guys watch wilderness cooking, but that guy's got a wicked channel, man. And I think right now I got enough coals that he could he could cook a bull on this right now. It's nuts. It's pretty good. Every day, more and more is happening. And this property is getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Just even the little things, even just little tidy jobs make this place so much better. And uh, I felt really good out here today. Always had my bear spray on me. I had one moment where I think maybe a tree came crashing down in the woods. And I thought for sure that it was a big animal. And whatever it was, it was just nothing, I guess. A tree might have fell. But uh, aside from that, I felt really comfortable out here. Always aware. Knowing there's probably a bear around somewhere. Uh, hanging out. Doing its thing. Checking out cabins. Um, I, I feel good. I feel really good. And... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a wicked time of year right now. A wicked time of year. You cannot beat this. It is getting better and better each and every time I come here. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I just want you to know that you can get a lot of big things out here, right? You can transport a lot of big stuff out here in the winter. I suggest you go back and take a look at my winter videos with at the cabin and you'll see there's a big ice road that I take brings me right to the cabin and I have a trailer and I have a truck so I'll, I'm bringing um, all kinds of stuff all kinds of wood and supplies in the winter in the summer you just can't do it I mean I do to a certain extent I can bring an eight-foot piece of lumber and a few pieces of it in my little 14 foot boat. But my 14 foot boat can only take so much. I've got some eight foot posts, six by six, and each of, they're heavy, they're treated and they're heavy. And I didn't bring the posts during last winter and I'm regretting it. I really should have done it. And I thought, ah, I can bring a couple of posts out in the, in the boat, I'll be okay. And here I am on going through the crazy creek there's like an inch of water, if that now. There's probably, like, it's almost dry. When I came through yesterday, it was almost dry. So I'm, uh, I'm always thinking about how am I going to do this. And look, I'm going to Labrador very soon. And I'm there for a month. And when I come back to the Northwest Territories at the end of October, there's a good chance the lakes are going to be Frost it up pretty good. It'll be the end, right? So I've got I've got a couple of weeks left to get as much as I can done at the cabin before I go to Labrador. And when I go to Labrador, I'm gonna be making as many videos as I possibly can. That's why I'm going. I'm going back home to make videos with friends and family, hunting, fishing, cabin, out on the land, you name it, I want to do it. I need to be as busy as possible out there. And uh, I just want to take it all in. I'm really looking forward to going home. I haven't been home in the fall in a long time. And so it's, uh, it's going to be great to be there. It's going to remind me of my childhood growing up, um, it's going to be wet, it's going to be damp, it's going to be sunny, it's going to be everything. It's beautiful out there. You guys want to see awesome cabins, you want to see awesome camping, you want to see amazing hunting, beautiful landscape, I'm going to bring you there. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. So before I go, I got so much to take care of. I'm out here hustling like crazy to get her all done. Anyway, after this, I'm going to hit the sack. I'll see you guys in the morning.
Okay, this is the beginning of a big job. I'm cutting these off, I'm moving the cribbing back, and I'm going to extend out. And just so you're aware, the extension will not be happening, like I will not be enclosing it until the winter. But I gotta get myself ready, and I got lots to do. Uh, before I can leave the cabin for freeze up. Now, I don't know if this bottle jack's gonna do the trick. I just need to get it up enough to be able to pull this out. That's all I wanna do, is pull this out and hold it with the jack. I think I need a piece of flat wood here and that'll make it a bit safer. Make me nervous. Oh man. Yikes. I can hear the cabin creaking. Okay, we're starting to move. Oh, that is not good. Okay, that bottle jack is staying there. That crib is still in really good condition, for sure. This is not going to be easy to do. <laughs> I don't have a crowbar so doing the best with what I've got
I gotta get rid of these nails here. I'm gonna have to give it the old Jim Duggan. nice. It's got to be able to come down just a little bit. Probably not the safest thing to do. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> it's not too bad. I think it'll hold. This ain't good. Okay. A lot of weight right there. Baby! Holy crow! Beautiful uh, cribbing right there though. Really beautiful. <sighs> Not bad. Just gotta come up a little bit and we're good. Perfect. Super tight. Nice. Good.
I've said it once before, and I'll say it again. Even if I was super wealthy, like a multi, even if I was a billionaire, I will still eat macaroni and cheese. We call it craft dinner up here, especially if it is craft dinner. And hot dogs mixed together. Or sausages, which I have today. Or bologna. I love it. And I will proudly eat it when I'm super hungry. And this was deluxe. Like, you see how I crisped up those bits of sausage? They gotta be crispy. They gotta have a bit of, a bit of like, crack to them when you bite into them. Mmm. Oh yeah. And they do. They do. This is actually a really effective way to do this. I mean, a crowbar might be better, but holy smokes, I'm having zero issues doing it this way. Zero. <laughs> this is a test for sure. Make it a little bit tighter than that. Which is a little bit loose, see? That's a bit loose to start. I like it a little bit tighter. Well, that's enough. Nice and tight. See if she starts. Yeah. See, the thing is, is my chainsaw is blocking me from getting straight in there. If I come up, it's still the same. Huh. I gotta get that off. I need to get it off to here because my plan is to drop the extension. So there'll be a stair on the inside that comes down to the next level right here. So that way I'm not dealing with as much angle on the far end of the extension. I might even come down two feet. So this has to be completely off in order for me to come down with the wall here and extend out. I'm gonna try the old generator trick. Man, she asks a lot of that generator. Yes! Look at that! Wow! Oh, I'm happy with that. Yes, man! This box 
right here is like the original shed for this cabin. And uh, I've used it a lot for many things. Storing my gas cans, uh, putting my generator in here. Um, I'm going to utilize it. I'm going to use it for all of my kindling and splits. And if I load this all up, I can come out here in the wintertime. And hopefully I can have it. I mean, I'm not going to fill it up completely with splits. It's a lot. But uh, I just want to use it for that. And uh, I'm going to get some split action on the go today. Just to start the work. And I'll feel really good about that heading into winter. Because I've got a lot to do. Like, I, I've got so much to do <laughs> before the snow comes. It's like, woo! i got to stop thinking about it and just keep going. Gonna be crooked, but I'm gonna level it. Keeping it simple. Huh, solid as a rock now. I'm not going to fill it today, but I'm well on my way, that's for sure. Um, I decided that the uh, the pieces that I put into the into the wood storage area earlier in this video as full pieces to go into the stove, they'd actually be the best stuff for the splits because they're at a perfect length. And so all of that other junk that you saw me picking up and trying to organize a little bit, that, uh, I'm just gonna throw that in the stove, like as it's just like handfuls of just like little blocks of wood. I can probably get a few days out of that stuff and it's gonna burn super hot. I have lots to do. When I come back, I'm gonna start to put the posts. I'm gonna start to put the posts uh, in the ground for the extension. I'll probably finish this and uh, I'm gonna get the chainsaw out and I'm gonna do a bunch of work around the property uh, dealing with all the deadfall and I'm gonna have not just this kind of you know the the lumber splits I'm actually gonna have some kindling coming off of trees too in here it should be a nice supply to get me through a few months anyway and uh, I love it I love doing this the flies are destroying me though they are like vicious right now and uh, it's like early September and they're just like hungrier than ever and they always get in my eye they always get in my eye <laughs> anyway I'm still having a wicked time I hope you guys enjoy this video stuff is getting done man chipping away and uh, hopefully uh, we get her all settled away before things start to freeze up uh, still lots more to come thanks so much for watching everybody I'll be back really soon Thank you.